All right, hey folks, welcome back, and uh, you read the description. Yeah, we're taking a pork tenderloin, we're kind of making a, there's probably a better name for it, a pork tenderloin roll-up is what I'm calling it. And um, we got here, is a, it's a pound and a half pork tenderloin. I have used a knife, and I uh, have opened it up a little bit, taken off some of the silver skin, some of the fat, and what I want to do is I want to pound this relatively, uh, get it pretty flat. So, real, real easy process to do here. You want to get it, uh, you know, and I, like I said, I put some uh, plastic wrap on it so it don't make a mess all over the damn place. And, uh, I want to kind of get it somewhat uniform, so you get the idea what I'm doing there. We'll give you a look-see once we're rolling it up. Right, Stay folks, tuned. Got her beat up uh, nice and thin. Uh, you can put whatever you want in there. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, some honey ham in there. First of all, I'm going to put some of the Big Dicks margarita rub. That's right. You can't get enough of the Big Dicks. Love this stuff. And then a little bit of sliced pepperoni. I got uh, some uh, provolone cheese. And uh, we're going to do a bacon wrap on this too. So stay tuned. We'll show you all that. All right, you can see we've got our Big Dicks on there. We've got uh, a little bit of the ham, some pepperoni. Let's go ahead and put some cheese on there. Real super simple. And then to roll it up, nothing fancy, you just roll that up. Just like this. Try and keep it as tight as possible. I know it's impossible to do, but... And there you go. And now, on to the bacon weave. Alright, on to the bacon weave. I've showed you how to do this before off Tom Horseman at YouTube. If you want to see other videos of me doing the bacon weave, probably not one of my best. But I, I always like to have at least five vertical, five, five of them that go this way and it works better that way and uh, you just alternate every time where you kind of push them up and then you just let your bacon in there and uh, bacon weave is pretty much done you take your, your hunk of meat here and you kind of get your bacon weave started and on there there's an easier way of doing this oh you know what the easier way is and I always forget it it's like put some parchment paper underneath it and then roll up that parchment paper with it, and then you can pull out the parchment paper. So this way it turns out too, as you can see. And there you go. On to the Smoky Joe we go. Stay tuned. All right, folks, just coming up to the temp here on the Smoky Joe. We're really pushing the limits here today. If you can take a look inside there, you can see um, <laughs> our pork is right up toward the top. See the setup there? We got about 25 briquettes on there. We got our 8x8 eight eight foil pan in there. We're doing in indirect. I got a chunk of cherry on there. And um, I'm going to take this up to, to we get that pork around 150-ish. So stay tuned, and uh, we'll give you a look-see as we progress. Right, folks, it's been about an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, I have turned uh, the pork tenderloin once. You can see we're running right around 275 right in there. Let's take a quick look. Oh, man, look at that. Looking mighty nice. That's uh, 25 charcoal briquettes there that are doing all this. So we're going to... I'm going to take a temperature a temperature of this and then uh, we'll give you a look see once they it is plated up stay tuned all right there's our temp big you can see we're done uh, 155 and climbing so we're gonna let this rest for a little bit and then we'll slice it up and give you a look all right folks let it rest here for about 10 minutes <clears throat> let's uh let's go right through the center and see what it's like there it's nice and juicy if you look see at that huh look at that Looking mighty nice. I'll tell you what, that was so simple to do. Uh, anybody who says anybody who says they can't do this, they're crazy. Because if I can do it, you can do it. Look at that, huh? Isn't that pretty? You got the ham in there, we got the pepperoni in there, we got some cheese in there. That helps to hold the moisture in. Bacon on the top. Uh, use the hickory briquettes, 20 of them, 25 of them on the uh, Smoky Joe. And I'll tell you what, folks, uh, Tom Horseman at YouTube, please subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. I always appreciate that. And as always, I cannot say it enough. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it.